Hello and welcome to another video. In this one, we're going to be talking about my text editor and how I let Twitch chat change its themes. <laughs> and uh, yeah, how, how that doesn't always turn out nicely. But I'm also going to walk you through how it's set up and the cool tech behind it. Anyway, let's jump into it. Uh, so for those of you that don't know, I've written my own text editor uh, and called Babby. I'll link more in the description about Babby. Uh, but Babby uses VS Code themes. I guess more specifically, it uses any sort of TextMate-like uh, theming. So TextMate, Atom, VS Code, they all use basically the same approach. And Babby supports all of those themes. And I thought it'd be pretty cool to, I mean, this is, this is the theme that I usually use, which is the VS Code default theme with a few tweaks that I like. So for instance, I've, I've changed how INI files render. Um, but this is the theme that I like. But I thought it would be kind of a neat idea to let Twitch chat control my theme. And this is uh, <laughs> not always turned out the best uh, because you can end up with some artistically interesting themes such as this one by, by D. Delsp. Uh, this is called Hot Dog Stand, which is certainly a choice. Uh, or, you know, you might end up with some more aesthetically pleasing ones. Like this one was sent in by I Satisfied. I believe it's called Batman and Robin or something like that. But I really like the colors here. It's pretty nice. Uh, but basically, I let Twitch chat control my text editor. <laughs> and I guess I'll give you a little demo about how it works. So let me uh, open up this here. So if we go to twitch.tv slash code slash chat, just get our chat open. Uh, and let's find uh, GitHub VS Code theme. We're just going to find a random theme on GitHub. I know this one doesn't work, so we're going to skip that one. <laughs> uh, hmm. Why is this not? I don't know. Let's just use Monokai. Uh, Monokai GitHub. I know that one's good, right? Sure. Theme VS Code GitHub. Monokai color th code theme. Okay, cool. Uh, so all we really need to do here is grab this theme file and go to Twitch chat. We are going to use a channel point reward. I have infinite channel points, so I can do this as much as I want. Paste the link in there, and I need to be running the chatbot. Right, 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 right. Otherwise, it won't work. Okay, run the chatbot. <laughs> and if I press enter here, you'll notice that this theme changes immediately uh, based on my chatbot listening to this channel point reward and then telling my editor to pick the new theme. And well, this is a pretty nice theme. Well, guy's pretty, pretty good looking. Um, so I wanted to walk you through how all of this fits together because there's a lot of moving pieces that make this successful. Uh, you know, the chatbot is part of it, but also you know, Twitch has to happen there. So let me draw a, little, draw a little diagram and then we'll show, we'll jump into some of the code and show how it works. All right, so we start over here with Twitch chat. Twitch chats. And we have a channel point reward, uh, which is a special message that Twitch chat sends. Let's just say this is our channel point reward. And you spend your points or whatever. This sends a special message to Twitch. So it's a little curvy line here. Go to Twitch. And uh, Twitch embeds a little bit of special metadata in the message. Uh, I believe it's a reward ID. Actually look at the specific code for that. We'll get the record code of that in a minute, but this is some, some UUID, which specifically met, uh, matches up to that, that channel point reward. So as long as you know this UUID, it's always gonna be the same. My chatbot, which is on my computer, a little line here, uh, which is hanging out on my computer. This is my chatbot. It is connected to Twitch over the IRC socket. I'm actually probably going to switch it to the web socket soon because uh, it's slightly more reliable than the IRC socket from what I've seen. Uh, but it connects to this. It receives that chat message, which has this special reward ID. Uh, and then it does a couple of things. The first is it writes the theme to disk after validating it because, of course, I don't want XML injection or other you know terrible things. I'm probably still susceptible to regex inje injection, but shh, don't do that. <laughs> so I'll write the theme to disk. Write theme to disk. And then the second part that it does is it signals all running editors to reload that file. 
And it does this by doing pkill babby dash user one. Uh, so pkill is a POSIX or Linux utility to signal all processes that match a particular pattern. I think I actually did a video on that. So I will link that in the description if I did. <laughs> I don't remember. Uh, but it's trying to find all Babby process. Babby is the name of my text editor. And it's going to send them user one, which is a special signal that's usually used for, well, reloading or other user defined behaviors. I believe there's user two as well, but I didn't need that. So uh, that's this. And that's the chatbot portion. And then there may be a whole bunch of my text editors running because I, I tend to. I tend to use terminal tabs rather than actual, um, you know, re real, <laughs> real in-editor tabs, even though Babby kind of supports multiple files, but I, I just never use it. Uh, and so this pkill will signal all of these running processes. I don't know what to call it for this. Uh, will signal all of these running processes. Babby will notice the signal, uh, reload the theme file, and then instantly re-render it. That's kind of how this works. Let's jump into the code and show you a little bit how that, that works out, uh, kind of get those different parts going. So the first, we're going to look at the bot part, since I think that's the, the natural entry point to this. Uh, where is it? Theme? Nope, nope, nope. Babby theme. There we go. Uh, so this is the special, and i got to scroll down a little bit because there's a whole bunch of processing and loading. Uh, but this is that channel points UUID that I was talking about before. This one particularly lines up to the Redeem Babby theme channel point reward on my Twitch channel. Of course, if you have a Twitch channel, it would be different on yours. And the basic control flow of this is it tries to load the theme. Uh, if there's an error, either due to validation or, or other stuff, uh, it'll produce an error message. I also put the user and the URL into the theme so that I can later uh, check who, who submitted it. Uh, Python 3-m bot tests. This is how I can send a message to the chatbot without actually running it. Um, so you can see it will tell you, well, this theme doesn't have a name, but it'll give you like the URL that I could download it from. So it basically just gives uh, Twitch, Twitch viewers a way to see what theme I'm dealing with. Uh, but anyway, I write the theme in there and then symlink it to uh, the place where Babby looks for themes, which is in... Uh, config bammy theme.json and in this case you can see it's a sim link to that particular file and then finally it calls pkill like I, I talked about before. Uh, pkill will sometimes um, a little error if there are no processes so I don't actually check the return code here so it may not succeed. Uh, and then it sends a message back to Twitch chat which says that it was successful because it doesn't really know it just assumes that it was successful and that's kind of what this theme updated is here. That's one half of it. That's the, the bot half of it. And then we got to look at the actual Babby part of this. Uh, search for user one. We can see where that signal handler gets registered. User one. Uh, so we set up this retheme handler. <laughs> of course, there's no signals. Well, I don't want to say there's no signals. There's not signal handling implemented in a way that's useful on Windows. So we. Uh, we skip out on that. And the way my signal handler is set up is I actually just set a pseudo global variable. It's actually kind of local state. And then I send sync winch. Sync winch is the same signal that gets sent when you resize. That's how that's how Babby is quote unquote responsive. Um, I couldn't find a good way in curses to have my own custom signals get forwarded as uh, as um, I don't know, theming I as as custom keys essentially. So I just abuse window change as a way to do this as well. So I, <laughs> the process is essentially killing itself by sending SigWinch to itself, uh, and that's basically how it works. Just use the Sig user one handler. When uh, SigWinch happens, it checks for retheme, and when retheme happens, it sends a custom key, and then I have a custom key handler for retheme which just loads, oops, that's not it, which uh, runs runs the same command as retheme. And this goes out to disk, loads up that theme file, and then instantly re-renders. So that's how it works. That's basically how my my uh, my chatbot theming works. Uh, <laughs> a side effect of this is I've collected a whole bunch of themes and can now cycle through all of them <laughs> with with this special little watch command here. Um, the cool thing actually about this is some of the themes that have been sent through have been so bad that we spent some time redoing them. Uh, for instance, 
Oh, I missed it. Uh, let's see, let me see if I can find the actual theme. Uh, da, 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 star red dash L. Yeah, so if we reassign this theme, for instance, nope, that's not it. Let's try this one. Uh, oh, I have to give it a full path. Yeah, so this theme, for instance, was originally a theme that was really, really ugly. And I was like, you know, this almost works. So we can probably adjust this to make it look a lot better. And actually, I think this, this theme's kind of cool. It's a little bit quirky and like, yeah, the, the highlighting in the background is a little distracting. But let's see if we can find the original version of this. Uh, the original version was hideous. Nope, that's the same one again. This is a fairly popular one to to <laughs> force me to use. Um, did I lose it? Do I not have it anymore? Maybe it's this last one. I got one more to check. Ah, oh, dang it. Oh well. Anyway, there was there was a previous version of this theme which was significantly uglier, um, but we we made it better. Anyway, wanted to walk you through kind of the the architecture of of how this gets set up, uh, how I use signal handling to basically tell my editor to wake up and, and change his clothes and how, uh, yeah, how it ends up being kind of neat. <laughs> but sometimes I get really ugly things. Anyway, hopefully you found this interesting and I'll see you around.